guys, what's going on? My name is Eclipse, and today we are back on Clash Royale. So if we head on over to my clan chat, you can see my clan is trying to unlock the maximum crown chest, but there is one issue with this, and that is that I'm not contributing whatsoever. If you head on over to like the chest rankings, I'm all the way at the bottom. As you can see, I have a solid two crowns. So in today's video, I'm gonna be attempting to win some battles, attempting to get some crowns, and overall attempting to bring my clan to success. Now, first things first, I want to try out some new decks. So let's just say, does anyone have an interesting deck for me to use? And uh, we'll put the Lenny face. You guys know how it is. Always use a Lenny face if you're the real MVP. Now, right here, I'm just waiting because someone has to have a good deck for me. Come on, clan. There's seven people online. I know you're not inactive. Where y'all at? Okay, so apparently my entire clan is dead right now. I waited like a whole 30 seconds and still no one's here. So we're just gonna copy gaming with mold stack. And I don't think this is the real mold by any means, but we have the deck copied as you can see right here. So let's get into a battle. Now, real quickly, I just want to clear one thing up. In my last video, Jewish Lewish kicked me from the clan at the end. And if any of you saw that video, a lot of people were really upset with him. They're like, Jew, you're such a salty, sore loser. Why did you kick Eclipse? And the truth is, honestly, I told him to kick me. He didn't kick me because he was mad whatsoever. It was honestly staged. It was staged. It was a fake prank in the hood gone wrong. Totally unexpected. So yeah, don't be mad at Jew. If anything, be mad at me because I just trolled everyone. Also, I've never really used Elite Barbarian, so um, I'm gonna log that out. Hopefully, I can get the barbs and get the princess as well. Yes, that's all good. Now, we didn't get too many hits off on that tower, but we did manage to counter this guy. So next up, I'm just gonna send a hog in. I know this guy does not have any barbs to counter that, so he does have some minions. I'm just gonna zap those out of there, and hopefully we can get an extra hit in. Um, let's get, oh crap, this guy has a lot of stuff. Cannon plus archers. Screw this guy's minor crap. Unfortunately, all my troops just went for this minor. Um, you know, I was gonna log that out, but actually wasn't needed whatsoever. And as far as the push goes, I know a lot of people have been using elite barbs and hog, and when I say a lot of people have been using that, I mean I saw one person using it and it looked decent so who knows I might give that a shot but for now let's just play it slow and see what happens the people deploy ice golems in the back like this let me know down in the comments I feel like I'm a little bit out of the loop but right here let's get a massive push in elite barbs plus the ice golem then we're gonna get the hog rider up in the mess next up we have to get this log ready take out all of that come on smack him out of there now we have all of this going through we have the hog on the tower the barbs are about to die and that right there was actually a pretty solid push so I like the way that turned out um we got to get some archers down I'm gonna put an ice golem to kind of tank for that um this guy did kind of just you know use a pretty good log right there but still we're hanging in there this guy's not gonna get too many hits in actually he got zero hits in and I really like the way things are going right now now my cycle isn't the best I would prefer if I had the hog a bit closer towards the front of my deck but it's not a big deal because right now we're gonna get another banger push in um it's kind of counter this guy right here now let's get some elite barbs in so right there we have the mega minion on that i'm gonna get the log down to take care of all of those and unfortunately this guy did kind of just counter us but still we got a decent push in again and when i say decent i know it was nothing special but oh well i'm not honestly too scared let's get a cannon down quick no wait oh crap i thought we stopped the hog but unfortunately we did not and i understand there's a princess over there screw her she's not gonna do too much damage alone so let's get this going i'm gonna get that down right now also i'm gonna zap that real quick hopefully i can snag an extra hit in now all we need is just one more push and we should be good let's get this down we need to get our cannon down quick let's get archers down asap let's get our log down with the zap spell and we should take this win it's very close but we take the first win with this random deck so we're we're gonna return back to the clan chat and hopefully someone said something because we need to change this deck up now this deck I liked it it worked out pretty well so I'm actually gonna keep this so in the meantime I'm just gonna swap out this deck right here I guess and now everyone seems to come to life so gaming with molt we already used his deck now we have to use felios um royal giant furnace oh my god I hate the royal giant but he was the first one to reply that wasn't molt so we're gonna give this a shot and see how it goes now again, 
I don't like the Royal Giant. It's really good, I guess, but I'm just not a personal fan of it. There goes the Furnace. Now, there is a Mega Minion pushing up, so I might put some Archers down to kind of help with that. You know what? Um, let's just get a Skeleton Army. Hopefully, this guy does not have a Log or a Zap spell because that would be... Oh. Yep, that was detrimental. That was the exact opposite of what I wanted. So right there, I'm going to try to push everything back just to avoid taking as much damage as possible. Now right there, he did get a decent push in, but it's not the end of the world. We're still hanging in there strong. Actually, he just got a lot of damage and crap. Now right here, we're going to get a Royal Giant plus the Mega Minion. Let's get our Zap on standby. And this guy has a Furnace as well. Does this dude have like the same exact deck as me? It honestly wouldn't surprise me if this dude had the same exact deck. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is the case. Oh wait, no, this guy has Elite Barbs, so real quickly, we need to get a Furnace down, take out those Elite Barbs, let's get some Archers down as well. Unfortunately, he just melted that Furnace, but luckily for us, we managed to successfully counter his push. Now, I am kind of scared right now, because if he puts a Royal Giant down, I'll be forced to use the Skeleton Army, but the thing is, I know for a fact this guy has a Zap spell, so YOLO, here, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Unfortunately, he had Fire Spirits, but we managed to actually take out that Royal giant better than I expected so now we're just gonna play it slow and hopefully all things go well now I don't normally deploy the royal giant in the back but I feel like we kind of need to save up for a little push here so hopefully you guys don't yell at me for that as I said earlier though I'm not a fan of the royal giant I really don't know how to play it and I hate deploying it in the back so so far I'm doing the exact opposite of everything I normally would do now I am actually gonna save up this lightning spell so let's get a lightning spell ready for right there hopefully we can take out all of that now let's get our mega minion in also i'm gonna log all of that out right there um okay real quickly let's get our furnace down hopefully that helps us out take out those elite barbs and that right there was actually a pretty good push i like the way that one went out now i realize this guy probably has more fire spirit so let's just get a zap so ready come on Crap, what a waste of a zap spell. I was trying to predict fire spirits, but that did not work out whatsoever. Now this guy has another furnace. So again, I'm going to save up for a massive royal giant push, and hopefully this one goes decent. Let's get our furnace down. I want to log all of that out. Come on, you can do it. Now unfortunately, there is one elite barb just smacking away on that tower, and this is not looking too good for me. Um, Okay, real quickly, let's try to counter this guy's royal giant. Let's get everything down right there. Now I'm actually going to get another royal giant down. Not not one but two so there's five seconds left unfortunately I think I played this a bit too slow because yeah it appears I do not have enough time so we ended up losing this battle oh well not the end of the world we still have another battle to do so hopefully we can come in clutch now let's head on over to the clan chat who has the next deck for us so after wait we got to scroll up. after Felicio we have gaming with molt we already used his deck yash yash this is the next guy we're going with and he says he has no building or spells so I'm not too sure what he's going with honestly this looks like a completely trash deck I am gonna upgrade this bomber because why not and as far as the baby dragon goes I'm gonna keep you at level 4 let's get into a battle though and see if we can manage to pull something off and I'm not too sure why this guy uses a deck without any buildings or spells like let's be real that sounds like an absolute garbage idea but we're gonna see how it plays off for us now right here this guy went off with a pretty strange push luckily we have the baby baby dragon and this guy definitely just over committed right away I'm kind of gonna laugh at him for that one don't be mean at me for BMing, but oh well now we have a pretty heavy push I have a miner of my own and actually you know what once that princess is distracted I'm gonna send some spear gobs in to take care oh crap she just melted me that did not work out right there unfortunately that push on my end was a fail as well and right now I'm kind of forced to take out this princess so let's just do a little push right there I really didn't want to do that but I had to take out that princess somehow so that is how I decided to do it and right there that damn pack I had to get locked onto my hog now we did get a hit in so all isn't bad but I would have preferred if my Valkyrie would have got targeted that entire time and we, yes oh my god did you just see how close that was I was afraid for a second that that would have went terribly wrong now right here um, I'm gonna start off with a baby dragon in the back again this guy's doing a similar push the last time I don't quite know why he's doing this like this push doesn't seem that 
well whatsoever. Now next up, what I want to do is let's put our miner on that princess. Screw the princess, you feel. And now let's just go all out on this side. That guy just wasted an ice wizard on the miner for some reason. And he just shut my push down extremely well. So I'm kind of upset right now. I'm not feeling this deck. I'm not playing it too good. So I honestly have to play it a bit slower, build up some bigger pushes. And I feel like we might be set. Also, I'm not too sure why I just pushed that left tower when the right one's obviously weaker. So we need to get our thoughts together. Hopefully make some better plays and we should be good. So I have the Valkyrie down right there. She should do a good job at countering all of that. Next up, I am going to try to just get a massive, massive push in right about now. So we have all of that right there. I have the miner in. We have a whole bunch of troops. Holy crap. This guy does have a mini P.E.K.K.A. But screw that mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, there goes the hog. I have the miner. The miner was a bit too late, but here go all of the barbs. Crap. Everything did die. We managed to do decent damage, but who knows? Everything could have went a little bit better. Now right here, this guy's graveyard push is honestly going to get shut down pretty quick. I'm not too concerned about it. We have a lot of troops down there. Um, he does have a princess, so let's take her out. And now we have to build up a pretty strong push or else things might not go too well. So let's get barbs in front, followed by the hog on the side. And let's also put our miner right there. And hopefully we can get this again. Crap, the hog keeps getting targeted first, which does suck. Now right there, we have the miner just kind of going away. And now this guy has a lot of troops as well. So let's try to take care of this calmly. Um, I do need to get a bomber down desperately. Come on, bomber. Come in clutch for us. Let's get spear gobs and we are avoiding all possible damage from this push. Um, I'm going to get another miner in on that princess. And right now, I'm not feeling this battle. I'm pretty sure we definitely lost it. Crap. I kind of wasted that Valkyrie right there. And yeah, this battle is over. I'm not too sure what this deck was, but obviously it is not for me. So in total, we managed to lose minus 58 trophies. Not what I was necessarily going for, but oh well. Hopefully the video was entertaining. So guys, this has been Eclipse. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like down below but that is everything i have to say thank you all for watching and peace out